Hello everyone and welcome to Motorhomes with America Tom. I am Tom and this is the all new 2024 Fleetwood Discovery LXE 40M, by far the most popular floor plan at 40 feet. It's got the best mix of high-end luxury features and just very comfortable layout. We're going to take a look at everything outside and take a look inside. We're going to go all the things, go through all the things we like and dislike. All right, let's take a look. Right as you walk up to the motorhome, you can see this beautiful paint job. This is a full body paint inside and out, but the combination of the silver, the dark gunmetal gray, and the blue really sticks out. Um, you can also see that this has the built-in Girard awnings, roof integrated, so it has that streamlined look all the way down. This one has two awnings, so you got awnings front to back on the motorhome. You can also see this beautiful chrome package that matches really well with the paint job. Uh, right here at the front, you can see that this front body cap here has a really nice look to it slide out generator that pops out that's an 8,000 watt Cummins zone in and then the chrome itself just um, all works together very well now this mirror has a built-in camera as part of your three camera system two on the sides one on the back um, you can see a nice wide 30 inch door here now as you move up uh, I want to point out that you have these frameless windows which adds to that streamlined look as well um, let's open the bays up here and take a look at what we have inside you know, before we go too far, I want to talk about what makes the Fleetwood Discovery LXC really special, and it all starts with the Freedom Bridge chassis that you have here. Most RVs, even in this category, just have a raised rail platform um, where they just put the, the subfloor on, sides out, and start building up from there. This chassis is custom built, so instead of those C-channel rails, it uses I-beams, which are 30% stronger. Um, and all the best Freightliner components. Things like the all-new VFS front suspension system, um, whereas previous systems were uh, lower in size, 12,000, 12,300 pounds, this is 12,600 pounds. And with the VFS, they mount the airbags out wider for better roll stability and handling that is supposed to emulate the ride that you get in an independent front suspension system. This Freedom Bridge chassis also gives you a significant amount of storage underneath. So you have three full pass-through bays here which are taller and wider than what you typically see. Um, and then on your rear axle, you have the 24,000 pound V-Ride. That's way better for roll stability. So the combination of that VFS and the V-Ride suspension system make this thing ride like a dream. Um, also, you have the Cummins L9. That's an 8.9 liter Cummins engine, 380 horsepower, 1150 foot-pounds of torque. So plenty of power, as much that you can tow 10,000 pounds behind the vehicle. And then an Allison 3000 series transmission. All the best components built on the best frame that you have with this Freedom Bridge. It's a truly great uh, driving motorhome. But now let's take a look at what we have underneath. This one is optioned with your pull-out refrigerator. So this refrigerator freezer plugs in. You can pull it out of here, take it with you anywhere you'd like to go. But a very convenient um, feature to add to the RV. As you move back here, you've got not one, not two, but three full pass-through bays. The first is options with the pull-out tray, which will go out of either side. I also want to point out the Citadel fiberglass that you have under here. Most RVs are going to have um, a wood substructure with plywood built in under there, and then maybe a carpet or like a, uh, like a fiberglass sheet that sits on top of it. With this RV, there is no wood underneath the baseline of the motorhome here, so it's just very easy to clean, it's very durable, very reliable over time, and you can spray this out and it's not gonna damage anything. I think that's a great feature. And then with all three of these pass-through bays, I mean, you can bring anything you wanna have. The combination of this exceptional amount of space and then the size of your suspension system gives you a cargo carrying capacity that is just insane. All right, moving on back. You know, behind this bay is where you have your water tanks, but they do utilize this little bit of space here very well. You've got your automatic transfer switch and built-in surge protector. You've got your central vacuum system, the solar charge controller. This does have 325 watts of solar up on the roof, and then an inverter disconnect as well. Here's your V-Ride axle. You can also see that you have the 22 and, 22 and a half inch all aluminum Alcoa wheels. So that just definitely adds to your ride quality as well. Here you have a little bit of extra storage and then a 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. Um, that's going to allow you to use the refrigerator or all of your outlets anytime you'd like 
without having to run your generator. So that's just a convenience thing. Here's the hydraulic reservoir for your automatic leveling system. That's just gonna be on auto and you can walk away from it. Very convenient. While we're walking around the back, I wanna point out the mold cap that you have on the back. It's got a really nice look to it. Very streamlined with those roof integrated awning systems that it has. So I'm a big fan of that. Here you have your hitch. Again, that's a 10,000 pound hitch. Seven way plug built in right there for towing. And then you have Freightliner's brake sync option which allows you to hook up to an air-assisted braking system very easily. Um, as we move around to the back, one big benefit of having that rear radiator is that you get all this extra space for your batteries, which just frees up more of your cargo space up front. You got one, two, three, four, five, six house batteries that are tied to that inverter system and your solar system, and then two 12-volt chassis batteries as well. This is your DEF tank. It's a 13-gallon DEF tank. You fill that up probably every five fill-ups that you have with the motorhome. Uh, this motorhome also has a 100 gallon diesel tank so you can just hit it uh, out on the road for many many miles without having to stop nearly as often here's the other side of your v-ride axle now as we move here the discovery LXE has a really nice wet bank um, starting from the right you can see that you have a power electric reel and a power water reel that's very convenient and easy to use but it also saves you all the space that these would take up if they were elsewhere like it is in many other motorhomes you have a whole house water filter right here, black tank flush, city water hookup, all of your bypass valves, your cold water, hot water drains, and then you have an outside shower built in, and then a nice little space for a, um, a paper towel holder. Um, I just want to point out how clean this is, and it's also not under a slide, so very convenient and easy to work with. Um, also, your tank size. This has 105 gallons of fresh water, 75 gallons for your gray tank, and then a 50 gallon sewer tank, which means you can stay out camping much longer without having to make as many stops to dump those out. Here's the other side of your three pass throughs right here. And then the last bay that you have on the driver's side here has your Aqua Hot. Now, this is a 400D system. This has eight heat exchangers, um, it works as a whole house furnace. Um, that uses diesel as a fuel source as opposed to propane so it's far more comfortable more accurate as far as the temperature that you set inside uh, goes in comparison to the temperature it actually is and this acts as a whole house um, hot water um, hot water heater system that's tankless so you got unlimited hot water you have um, a great comfortable heating source built in for the rv and with the elimination of propane um, it's just more convenient it's just fewer stops and just one less thing to worry about um, right here you see a fuel fill for that 100 gallon diesel tank. You have one of these on both sides So no matter where you pull this thing into as far as gas stations go It's gonna be easy to find a good fill up um, Your front axle again is that BFS. So it's got the great ride there And then here in the front bay you have an air access point as well as the fill for your windshield wiper fluid um, And just a little bit of extra storage. This has this really nice um, Teflon bay built into it, so it's very durable and has a nice look to it as well. All right, let's take a look inside. Power step coming out right there. All right. So right as you walk in here, you got plenty of space to get through. Good access to the kitchen, good access to your dinette, your couch and your theater seating. You can get to the fridge, no problem, and open that up, as well as your bathroom right here. And then really your mobility in here stops at the bed. You'd have to crawl over that to get to the rear bath. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing opened up. This thing opened up you can see that you have a huge living area here wonderful kitchen I mean you really got a lot of living space here and a big part of what makes that happen are these dual opposing slides it really opens things up so before we go too far into this I want to take a look um, at the cab but first we got to thank our help here this is Basil hey how you doing guys so Basil what do you do for a living sell RVs just like you man <laughs> Basil works with us here at the store in Dover, Florida at General RV. This number here on the bottom left is going to be his direct line. He's going to be happy to help you out with any motorhome or trailer we have here. Give him a call and say thanks for, uh, for helping us out. All 
right. Um, also, if you're enjoying the video, like, follow, subscribe, share it. Um, we're always happy to help anybody we can out. Or if you have additional questions, you can reach out to me personally um, by phone, text, call, FaceTime, email, whatever it is that I can help you out with. I'm happy to do so. We don't just show these RVs. We sell them and many other RVs too, new, used, whatever it is. Always happy to help out. Now let's start out here with the cab. I think Fleetwood does an amazing job with the cab area up here. Their dash is very um, well laid out and it doesn't come out too far so it still gives you a nice walk space in here. Now when you go up to an LXC, you also have a few other features that are really convenient. Things like these adjustable pedals that are mounted in more of an automotive way instead of being on the floor. Um, angling down makes it really comfortable to operate. Let's go ahead and get that started up. Um, also, the way that you have your screen set up here, there's two separate screens. Most of them are just going to have one big screen, and the downside to that is that when you turn your camera system on, you lose your navigation or your radio or whatever you have on the big one. So this allows you to have both navigation or whatever you use on this screen and cameras at the same time. You can also adjust this camera system to look at whatever you'd like, um, including a split screen. So. There's a few different modes for split screen where you can see everything around you all the time. I think that's a great feature. Um, also, this tilts and uh, telescope, so you can set it up exactly to the way that fits you best. Starting right to left, of course, you have your dome lights, keyless entry, park travel radio, your generator controls, and then the auxiliary start. What that does is it pairs your or it bridges your six house batteries with your cha chassis batteries or vice versa so you can get one jumped off or the other one slight. It's just a nice feature to add. Here you have your park brake controls, a um, keyless um, start here, which is pretty nice, very automotive in nature. Um, here on the other side you have controls for your shades, whether it's the blind or your shade. Very easy to operate those. Um, and then up here you have your Mobileye Collision Avoidance System. Now that's part of your tech package. That box that's up there in the front um, has cameras and sensors built in to notify you if a vehicle's stopping abruptly. It has a lane departure tracking system built in. And it also reads the speed limit signs as you pass them. I think that's just really cool technology that it can see the sign, read it, and then it'll display it for you right here. This also displays your lane departure warnings and it lists car lengths between you and the vehicle ahead of you. So if you're two and a half RV lengths behind the vehicle right there, it's going to say 2.5. So you kind of have an idea of how long you need to stop and you can kind of gauge your comfort level as you're driving throughout there. Now this big screen here is your Freightliner OptiView digital dash. This displays everything from the pressure in your airbags and your air system all together. It has a tachometer, it has your speedometer built in. You also have tire pressure monitoring built into this dash here, which is really nice. Just makes it easy to see all the information about your RV whenever you need to see it. And then you can also control things with your thumbs right here. So it just makes your driving experience very comfortable and automotive in nature. Um, also on this side, I wanna point out that you have heated um, power mirrors, which makes it pretty nice. While I'm here, I also want to point out how comfortable this seat is. You know, these seats will turn all the way around, so it's another part of your living space here when you need it to be. But this is a heated seat, it's power, um, and then they both have foot rests too. So it's a really nice uh, additional feature here. You have cup holders on both sides, some extra storage on either end, um, and it just feels very comfortable. Um, while we're right here, Basil, I also want to point out your drop down bed. Um, this drop down bed comes down to about here, but it really uh, matches everything else very well. This is matching wood to your cabinets, and it has the same soft touch bottom that the rest of the vehicle has with this nice uh, piece right here. So when you don't need it, it hides really well, and when you do, that's a, a nice big bed that will sleep two additional people. As we move into the living area and we're talking about sleeping, might as well point out you have a pull out bed here as well. So this pull out bed sleeps two adults too, so you've got two in the back, two up front two right here this vehicle sleeps six right across actually right behind this you have your televator too so let's go ahead and put that up so you got this big window when you want to have the window here and then when you prefer to walk, be watching tv with your theater seating here of course you got your televator there as well um, you have power on both sides and usb outlets now over here on your passenger side 
you have these really nice apex furniture theater seating set up so the material itself is very comfortable and then these are power seats that come out um, they also come with these um, these pieces here so it's a little matching uh, table tray for you um, and it also has the matching uh, leather here so I think that's pretty nice um, above these seats you got lots and lots of storage three big bays right here um, the quality of this woodwork I mean it just feels really nice the open and closing mechanism is very sturdy um, and then the cabinets themselves are lined in what they call ozite so this material gives added grip but it's also a sound dampener so if you've got things in there it's not going to bounce around and make a bunch of noise when you're driving down the road I think that's a convenience feature that we really like um, on this side you've got your dinette this can be optioned for the facing um, dinette but the table and chairs is what most people order um, what I like about it is the extra counter space so you have that whole big buffet table in the back and then this piece will pull out and sleep or uh, seat four um, also you have all this extra storage underneath too so three big cabinets pull out drawers I think this one is the um, that side yes this is a little laptop space and this does make it to kind of a, a workable office when you need it to um, also I want to point out that there's no carpet in here they use this really nice mesh flooring as part of that slide mechanism which matches everything else in the RV but it also just has a very flush flat look to it um, also we're right here um, decor is something that Fleetwood does really well you have the day night shades built in but look at how they color matched your blackout shade there I think it just adds to the luxury and the decor that you have here now moving over to your kitchen here across from your dinette this is a wonderful kitchen for a 40-foot motorhome it's got an extra pull-out space right here lots of really nice deep drawers um, and the backsplash is very comfortable too it's got this big window that overlooks your patio area with the built-in color matching shade as well you've got the recessed induction cooktops two of them right there so you can have that extra counter space when you need it and then your induction cooktop when you need that some extra power right here with that uh, tower of power thing and then um, you have a dishwasher built in nice big drawer here this little drawer here is a great place to either house these or what you have on your sink um, but a lot of counter space even behind your sink area here which is pretty nice I also like how they give you the big one tub basin sink there instead of one with the little divider in the middle um, it's farmhouse style so great with the decor package now this decor package is what they call signature and what I like about the signature is the contrast between the darks and the lights you know the lights make everything feel very open but by having these darker Corian countertops it just gives the whole decor a bit of depth um, also this is paired with the winter fog um, interior decor now what a lot of manufacturers are doing are they're just painting it like this flat bright white which in my opinion kind of makes it feel like a doctor's office this is more of a eggshell kind of color then they add this little accent at all of your crevices in there which I believe adds more depth to your solid wood cabinets as well so I've always been a big fan since they came out with that I think it was 21 is that right Basil? I think so I think it was 21 when they came out with the winter fog so some more storage right here of course you got a big one underneath the sink and then right here you've got some really nice pull-out pantry spaces so really nice how the woodwork is built in here and it hides really nice also the mechanism is just very smooth now here you have your all-electric residential refrigerator with the big French doors tons of space in here and then you have a built-in freezer down below with an ice maker so very convenient lots of space makes it feel just like home. Um, right across from that you have your half bath good space in there nice counter space good sink right here in the middle of the RV that's always a great feature for folks that tend to have guests or maybe they're full timing what's nice about a bath and a half layout is that you get the big master suite in the back typically you have a much larger um, shower better features there um, right here I want to point out that you have both the toe kit 
and the central vac system. So very convenient for keeping things clean inside the RV. And then this is one of my favorite parts of the Discovery LXE, and that's your Firefly multiplex wiring system. So a multiplex system in itself combines all the different components of an RV's electrical system into one central brain, which makes it very easy to both look at what's going on with your RV and then make adjustments to it to better fit your lifestyle. The Firefly is by far the most intuitive and comfortable one to use. Very responsive when you push the buttons, it's not taking time to load, and then everything is laid out very comfortably. You can see exactly where your power source is, what the temperature is, a percentage-based um, metric for the tank fill. You can control your water tank, tank uh, water pump right here, your aqua hot, whether it's on the diesel burner or the electric control, all right here on your main panel. This also controls your auto gen start system. So what auto gen start is, is it controls the use of your generator based off of different triggers. Things like uh, the temperature in the RV. So it's great for pets. You can leave for the day. If there's a power outage and you need to cool things back down to a comfortable temperature for your pets, it will automatically do that for you. You can also control it um, through a trigger for your um, low, low battery power. So you don't have to worry about running out of power. It will automatically charge them up to the right spot. If you take a look at this right here, Basil, you can see how um, specific and in-depth your electrical system is even to things like your solar power you can see where the power is going how much is coming in a history of the cumulative power generation that you've had you can control all your lights right here you even have mood lighting um, for your adjustable lights um, this controls the temperature in the RV whether you want to have things on cool we have the ACs all three of them on low right now the aqua hot burners and then your floor heating so this has heated floors underneath your polished porcelain tiles here it's electric coils that are ran all the way from front to back of the RV. You turn this on, it's going to warm those tiles up. While we're talking about heating and cooling, I want to take a look up here at the roof. What you see in a lot of RVs is the big AC intake. Now when you come to the Discovery LXC, they roof duct those intake systems. So right here where you see two of them, that's an intake. You got the same thing up front, same thing in the back, right where your AC is mounted here in the middle. Now what that does for you is it makes things very quiet. Instead of having that loud noise that the ACs always make, it makes things very quiet in here. We have all three ACs running right now and it's still very quiet and comfortable inside the RV. Another feature they added last year was AC condensation drain pumps. So if you've ever been around an RV with all ACs running on a hot day, you'll see that there's water dripping on different sides where the condensation from the AC goes down. It just gets in the way when you step into a puddle next to your front door or somewhere around your campsite. This has built-in drains that will take that condensation, run it through the motorhome, and then drain it underneath the RV. So that's a high-end luxury feature you typically only see in the top, top end million dollar motorhomes, but you get it right here on the Discovery LXC, which I think is a great addition to this motorhome. As we move towards the back, um, I want to point out this really nice door. Solid on a nice track here. It's not one of those accordion pieces you see in many of them. Um, and then here in the back, you've got his and hers, full length closets, great storage up top, great storage underneath, and then that added hanging closet space. Lots of drawers here, an extra bedroom window. So this is going to be something comfortable for people who are going to go full time or long term. It's going to be just like the quality and features you have at home. Across from that, you have a king size adjustable bed. So this bed will lay all the way flat, come to about right here. On both sides of the bed, you have these little side tables here where you have a wireless phone charger. You have USB hookups and power outlets on both sides. Um, and then above the bed, lots of storage. These go all the way back, also lined in that Ozite material. On the far ends, you have uh, part of your surround sound speaker system, which is a nice feature. Um, something else is um, the control panels. So there's a control panel as you walk into the door. There's one right in, at the entrance of the motorhome, and there's also a control panel right there. With that, you can control all the lights in the motorhome, the generator, um, so you don't have to run off to different parts of the RV to control every little thing. You're not always run into the center. Also, that multiplex system will connect to your cell phone. So you can be outside, you can be a thousand miles away, and using the internet, you can control all the aspects of your RV. So that's just a great convenience feature uh, for technology that I really like. Um, also, while we're talking about tech, 
um, all of your TVs in the RV have what's called a camera selector, and that's that little switch right here. When you flip that switch, it will take your TV and toggle between whatever you're watching and then the three cameras that you have outside. So it's kind of like a built-in security system. I think it's just a cool thing that they add uh, that only Fleetwood's doing right now. So big fan of that. All right, now to the real showstopper on this floor plan, and that's going to be your rear bath system. You have a separate nice door built into it. Then as you come into the back here, I mean, wow. Um, right at the door, I want to point out that you have a stackable washer dryer. It's always nice to have this in the back instead of in the middle of the motorhome. You can kind of tug this away and not have to listen to it as much. But you've got the big dual vanities with this flush mount, um, undermount sinks, big basin sinks, lots and lots of storage here in the back. So very um, user friendly for folks that are going to stay in this for a long time. You get to bring all the comforts of home out on the road with you. Lots and lots of storage underneath, lots of drawers. Nice mirrors built in here, good place to keep a little hand towel. And then right here, you have some extra storage on the side for towels or whatever you have here in the back. Nice shades built in right here. And then, oh my goodness, this is definitely matterproof. Lots of elbow room, plenty of space. This is a really nice setup. Also, here in the back, you can see your shower. Now, most of them are just gonna have a, um, like a fiberglass inlay piece. This is all tiled, and look at the little rock basin at the bottom, these large tiles built in. You have a built-in seat there, the nice accent tile across the front, and then really nice fixtures here. I mean, this is really, really comfortable and nice. Plenty of elbow room, plenty of space. This also has the built-in shower miser system. So you have unlimited hot water, but you're not gonna waste any of it. So that's just an efficiency thing that recirculates that hot water for use as you'd like to see fit for it. So, Really nice feature there. All in all, the Fleetwood Discovery LXC 40M is a floor plan that keeps you at 40 feet, but has all the high-end luxury features of some of the top-end stuff. So we really love this. A lot of folks who want to stay um, within an availability for campgrounds everywhere choose to be at 40 feet, but still want to have those upgraded features as far as the chassis, the appliances, and functions of the RV goes. So we're a big fan of what we see here. So now the fun part, we're gonna talk about some of the things we like and dislike about the motorhome itself. So Basil, I'm gonna call you in for this <laughs> and see what you've got. So let's start with the good stuff. What do you like? So I love the kitchen space, um, lots of kitchen space here. And I do also love the dual opposing seating. A lot of our customers take, um, they have friends or family that come with them. So the dual opposing seating does work. It feels like a motorhome that's built for a couple but it can sleep up to six people which is really nice right um other thing as well that i really like about this is just the the decor package i mean i love the the cabinets with the gray inlay uh, i'm a little bit partial to this because it's kind of set up how I, my wife and i built our house with the gray inlays um, and then also the black countertops what's really cool about this i didn't zoom in on this timing but this backsplash is really, really unique. It's not a backsplash that I've seen before. Um, how they did this, I, I, I'm not really sure. I like the gray and a little bit of a shine to it as well. It makes it extremely elegant. So we got decor, we got the floor plan with the living area up front. Let's give us one more. Um, another thing I would say is just, um, honestly, it's the perfect size, right? So you're talking about 40 foot. Um, there's not anything missing in this motorhome whatsoever in my opinion. Um, so that's the reason why we can't even keep this motorhome here at the store. We sell this almost immediately when it comes in or whatever comes in pretty much is sold before it gets here. So that's another thing that I would say about it. What do you think, Tommy? That is true. Um, this has been a really hard one to keep in stock. I mean, two or three years ago, I remember when these things were out, six months. You had to order that far in advance to be able to get one, so it was a really tough thing. Now, the things I like about this motorhome, I'm gonna have to start out with the Freedom Bridge chassis. I mean, this gives it an excellent ride. What a lot of manufacturers are doing, even in this category of motorhome, is they're just adding either nothing or some bracing. Now this is built, not braced. So the custom work that they put into it with the I-beams in place, the C-channel rails, make this thing far sturdier. Um, also using all the best components, the VFS front axle, the V-Ride suspension, the bigger L9 engine, the Allison 3000 series. This has got a wonderful ride, so I definitely think that's gonna be number one. The second thing is gonna be technology. 
I mean, you have the collision avoided system, you have the OptiView digital dash with built in tire pressure monitoring, 325 watts of solar, the Firefly system, the cell booster, satellite, Wi Fi Ranger, that's a WineGuard Connect 2.0 system. The tech package here is very intuitive, very easy to use. So, even for folks who are just getting into RVing, it's going to be very modern and comfortable. Um, the third thing I'm going to have to say that floor plan. You know, you, you get to stay right at 40 feet, um, and then you still get the really nice living area. You got a great kitchen, great amount of storage in the bedroom, and then that wonderful master suite bathroom in the back. I mean, that layout is just perfect. And, and you know, I've met a lot of folks who want to do extended travel, so they want a big RV, but they also want to have the comfortability and convenience of being able to park in more places. There's a lot more 40 foot or less spots than there are 45 feet or less. So I think this is a good compromise coach for folks who want to stay at a certain length, but they also want all those high end features. Okay, so now it's the hard part, Basil. I'm gonna have you do this first while I think about it, but um, <laughs> what do you think? Spot. What do you think as far as dislikes go? Uh, honestly, there's not too much to dislike about this RV. I would tell you, we do have a fireplace over here. Um, kind of an awkward position for this fireplace to be. Um, not really necessarily needed, I don't think, in this, but it's nice for um, some ambient light if you want to use that for some ambiance. Um, that's probably one of the one things I would say. Other than that, um, I'm thinking pretty much back here, I tend to see a lot where the TV comes up um, out of the wardrobe. That's something I would say I, I, I dislike with it being so high. But I also understand what Fleetwood's doing here, giving you ample more uh, ample uh, drawer space, and it's a deeper drawer, which is also really nice as well. Third thing, Tommy, that's hard. I all right, know. all right, I got, I got, I got some, I got some. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I've always been a huge fan of the Discovery LX, yeah. so it's funny to come up with this. My uh, my girlfriend actually asked me, like, which RV do you think you would want to have? And I, and I said a 40 amp, so it, it's already one I'm a big fan of. I remember when I first came out with it, but one dislike I have is this door here. Having this instead of a different handle, when it originally came out, it had a door handle, but it kind of made things tight with this um, refrigerator. They moved to this to make it easier, um, which was a good move, but still, I just prefer to have a different mechanism. Maybe if they had a, like a little push like they have here, I'd prefer that. Um, I'd have to say that's, one thing I dislike um, about the motorhome, um, hmm. that's a tough one. That is a tough one. I gotta come up with at least one more. At least one more. Um, geez. Okay, dislike, dislike, dislike. What do we got? What do we have here? I, you know what? I got a good one for you. And, and it might just be more personal to me. I'm not a tall guy. Um, so when I sit in this seat here, um, it's not as comfortable for me, the way that this piece sits. This is a big, nice, comfortable seat. I think it would fit somebody uh, better if they were just a little bit taller than I am. I think it would have a, a little bit of a better fit. So I would have to say that that's one of the dislikes um, that I have as well. I think that's good. We got four dislikes out of it, right? So, um, oh, sorry about that. Um, again, if you enjoyed the video and you'd like to see more, like, subscribe, share the video. Um, also, if there's an RV you'd like to see next, let me know what that is, and you might just see it online um, um, for, for you. I'm always trying to find new RVs to, to go and show for, so I'm happy to do that. Again, if you have any questions about this RV, or if you'd like to become an owner of a Discovery LXE, give me a call. Always happy to help with any RV we have here on our lot. My number's right here on the screen. Um, this RV in itself, that's one thing we didn't talk about, has an MSRP of $542,771, and that includes everything. So this is going to have a map price, minimum advertised pricing, being a 2024, of 25% off of that, which puts it right over four for an advertised sale price. But again, General RV is Fleetwood's number one dealer in the nation. We buy more from them than anybody else, so we know we can buy it for less money, and we're willing to sell it to you for less money still. I am happy to fight my boss arm wrestling to get you the very best possible deal for you to become a Discovery LXC owner. Um, speaking of which, one more thing. Um, the Discovery product itself has a wonderful owner's group. People I've known for near a decade now, a great group of people that travel together. They have all these really cool events. So you get a great motorhome, great features, great support from Fleetwood. We're going to provide great service here for you as well. And then there's a great community of owners out there 
who can um, you can travel with, you can learn things from, who are some of the nicest people out there. So I always think that's a great um, addition to part of being an owner is having that community built in with you. Again, thanks for checking us out. We're always here, happy to help. Contact myself or Basil if there's anything we can do. Thanks again. Have a great day.